Good afternoon. Hello. Hola. Hola. Gonna make some watermelon candy. Yes, I have to Hi. Hi. A three. A two. A two and a half. A one. Hola. One and a half. Sure. Take it away. So, hello. Hey guys, welcome to this live stream. We'll be making watermelon a candy today. So of course the flavor is watermelon, but the image inside um, will look like um, how do you say Durchschnitte in English? The um, cut through yeah. side. It's, it's like uh, yeah. the image inside that the cans will look like we cut a uh, watermelon in half. Yes, we'll uh, you'll get um, a yeah and uh, a Durchschnitte. <laughs> Ah. Yes, and uh, a cut through, uh, a cut through uh, image. So today we are making candy with Kim, who is putting on his gloves. He's the master candy maker and owner of the shop. And then we have on his right side. <laughs> uh, she's always right. <laughs> Princess Pete or, or uh, Ilse, who is putting in some red color. I'm gonna get you a little bit closer. If you have any questions, check out if the answer is already given. And remember that you can also find all the information on our website regardless, uh, regarding shipment or our products that are available. So we need black for the seeds of the watermelon. Ilse is mixing in the red for the... So we have red going on uh, over there. We have black going on there. So dark stain is the black one. And then we have a dark green, which will be needed for the outside to make the, um, the skin of the watermelon. <coughs> this is uh, making her red part a little bit bigger. So we need a lot of red to get a nice pink uh, for the inside, reddish pink. And Kim is making another shade of green next to it in just a while. So we're gonna have dark green. You can see the colors a little bit more over here. And this is um, the darkest green that we're making. Fun fact, to make a dark green, I'll use blue. A lot of blue and just a touch of green, so we get that nice dark green that's uh, common for the outside of a watermelon. And the, uh, the lighter green is uh, this one. You can see it's still translucent and it will stay that way. The dark black part will make the little pits out of the watermelon. Let us know in the comments if you like your watermelon seedless or with some seeds in it. The name of the co-worker is Ilse. You write it as I-L-S-E. Not, not like Elsa. Yeah, it's like... Uh, not Elsa from Frozen, but Ilse. Yes, it's, it's a, um, a Dutch name, I think, or uh, a Belgian name. Yeah, I think it's common in the Netherlands, in Belgium, and parts of Germany, perhaps, but not uh, very well known. Who eats this? Hergangi Birradam. Um, 
luckily for us, there are still people keeping this, or we would be out of business. Out of business. Yeah. More of us. So. Bonjour, Geneviève Harris. Uh, Ilse Insta ID. Uh, no, it's it's a different uh, name. We're not giving out Insta IDs. She's you can you can check out married. you can check out our um, uh, our our Instagram, which is Rocks Rolls Candy. Yeah. On Instagram, you can check out everything over there. Comment ça va, Geneviève? Ici, on parle un tout petit peu de français aussi. Eh, on, on essaie de se débrouiller. So now we're just waiting for the right temperature to add the citric acid, which is the white powder stuff on the side. And um, we need the hot sugar on the table, which is this uh, yeah, slightly yellow uh, liquid substance is the, the sugar um, that is cooling down now slightly. And we need it to be cooled just for you know, just about uh, 100 degrees Celsius or uh, 200, 200 degrees Fahrenheit, something like that. Mm -hmm. And then we can add the citric acid. Sai Adapa is a big fan for, uh, of Ilse's smile. I'm not sure if that's a joke or... <laughs> <laughs> Bonjour Geneviève. Yeah, it's... Um, yeah, her smile is like caviar. Very rare. <laughs> no, no, no. That's... She it's does a... smile a lot, only not on camera. Yes, uh, Princess Peach. It's a, it's a very expensive <laughs> smile. So we are mixing in citric acid in the white part and in the red part. Uh, the white part also has some white powder and that will give it a nice opaque white color, otherwise it will be translucent. Hello to India. Hello India. How, how do we say hello in... Hindi. Hindi. Yeah. Give us a hint. <laughs> Yeah, but not in Hindi because we cannot read. <laughs> Your name is Russia and then oh Pakistan. Oh my god, we have Rihanna on the chat. Indian Indian from Australia. Hi there, uh, Rihanna from Australia. Maybe white powder? Ah, yeah. Namaste. Is namaste, that, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Namaste, oh, yes. India. I don't know. Do we... Uh, do they? Hi from Brazil. How do you say good morning in Brazil? Brazilian, yeah. It is a dialect. Bom dia. Bom dia to Brazil. So cutting up the individual individual colors, so the black part, you can see the outside is crispy, but the inside is still gooey and liquid. That's how we like it. It's the perfect substance to get third degree burns. Bear in mind that the inside of this um, chunk of candy is still incredibly hot. It is about 150 degrees Celsius on the inside, give or take one or two degrees, but it's uh, very hot and it can easily burn you and take away your skin. So that's why we wear protective gloves. So everything you see that is liquid is very hot. The thing that you see that is uh, solid or sounds crispy is a little bit cooler. And what we are looking for is that the candy has an equal consistency of 
basically uh, clay. We need something that looks like a dough and therefore we need to massage our, uh, our candy and knead it so the hard parts become uh, equally soft as the inner parts. Hello Germany, guten Tag, wie geht es dir, Tony? Extra accent you get for free. Just, uh, <laughs> das ist ganz toll. Na, Tony ist uh, gucken uh, nach unseren Show, ja. Yeah. You can see we are live and we have some live viewers outside the shop as well. So this is a live inception. We having live viewers viewing live viewers. As you can see, the city of Sluis is pretty calm. Calm. Dead. 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 In, uh, yeah, it's it's. We are approaching winter here, so it is very very calm. But fortunately, we still have you guys watching us. So. The green part that Ilse is um, kneading here is uh, already quite equal and uh, in consistency. You can see that the white part and the red part still need a little bit of work. We can do that by pulling it later on so we get that nice and even Hello. distribution. Hello. Hello. What's the temperature out there? Yeah. Um, outside or inside? Outside, 10 degrees. Inside, 24. 24. It's, uh, it's always nice and warm in here. We have heated tables. The black table on your right in screen is heated. And the machine on my left is heated. So that heats up the space pretty evenly. And so when the desired consistency has reached in the candy, uh, we're gonna put it on the heated uh, black table over there so it can keep it nice and it's the same. Kim is also preparing the white and the red part. Those two will be pulled later on. They will be pulled on the machine. Uh, or manually. I think I'll pull the white on the hook. Okay. And the red on the machine. So we're gonna have some hook action. You see, it's preparing the hook, which is just hanging the hook, but uh, it needs to be in place. So we can pull the white part. We have some green. The light green needs to be pulled. So we'll distribute the hard parts and the soft parts. So that's where also her muscle power comes in handy. Same for the black. Sorry. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. For the white. So here we are pulling the white uh, on the hook. By pulling it, we are um, catching tiny air bubbles inside. And by doing so, it gets nice and bright white and it gets nice and shiny as well. Thank you all for the love in the chat. We can see your comments coming through, but it's getting very, very far. They're 
flashing by very fast, so forgive me if we cannot see everything. Uh, tell us the name of everybody uh, from here, please. Well, the master at work you're seeing stretching the candy right now is Kim. In the far end, we have, besides the zebra, we have uh, Bentley, our shop manager. She's preparing. Uh, she's preparing your uh, orders for uh, taking them to the post office and getting them sent out online. Uh, and then here we have Ilse, who is uh, preparing the other pieces of sugar. And don't forget yourself. And uh, me, myself, I am a um, cameraman and uh, your host today, I am Noah. Hello, RRC team. Rocks Rolls Candy team. I'm PPKS Gaming Mandalay Foodie Foodie ASMR game. All right, ready to stretch the rip on the machine. On the machine, well, I'm gonna take you to that one. This is our uh, automatic Before. candy pulling machine. Basically does the same as uh, what Kim just did at, on manually on the hook. But it makes, us, it makes it a little bit easier for us. We can do very big batches on this one. And uh, this will make it a little bit easier. Uh -huh. For all questions regarding uh, shipments to your country, I do refer to our website. Check out our website, see if it's available for your country. And uh, if so, we'll ship them right away to you. And then Bentley will take care of that one. So we started off with a deep red color. And you can see right now it became fluffy and pink that will be the inside of the watermelon so the flesh part of the watermelon and what Ilse is preparing right now is the pit part of the watermelon this looks like one giant huge pit but it will uh, get smaller so this one needs to be cooled down so it keeps its shape um, so by rolling this on this cold table, we can uh, get the right desired temperature. Um, and then uh, we can uh, roll it into the pink part. Als er kindjes zijn die kijken van de zilvermeeuw in Blankenberg, goedemiddag. Geen idee, maar... Kan het maar proberen. Ik weet dat het nog wat vroeg is op de middag voor hen. So in the meanwhile, there's a, a lot of stuff going on at the same time. But Kim is preparing the pink part. So the inside of the watermelon. That will be wrapped around the black roll. So you get a black pit inside of the um, pink um, yeah, slap of uh, uh, sugar. And we will multiply that multiple times. So we get very small and a lot of little pits. Uh, so that's... Uh, do you know I do acking? Uh, what is acting? You mean hacking? Yeah. Don't hack us. Then Thank you, girly girl. This process, we, we know it might look interesting. That's why we take you live to what we are doing here. So I'm gonna give you a nice angle to see what's happening. The pink part is ready, almost ready to uh, 
accommodate the black roll. So, saludos hasta Argentina. Oh, no, uh, yeah. So you can see right now, this is a real team work. Ilse is rolling and keeping the black roll in control. Kim is preparing the pink part. So now we are joining both of them together. The outside has to be, has a, has to be a per perfect fit. So you can see something that looks like a giant wiener hot dog. And that's what we were aiming for. Now we need 16, or actually this piece, we need 16 times. So we're going to divide it in two. So we need an inside with in, in total 16 little pits surrounded by pink. Yeah. So by multiple, stretching it and then cutting it in twos, we are multiplying it and then we are sticking it together. So it's, uh, it is uh, made from sugar, yes. It's, uh, it's sugar and it has watermelon flavor. It will also have a watermelon motif on the inside. Those two little pieces are uh, some leftovers that we cannot use for the design, but we can re-melt it perhaps and then uh, make some lollies out of it later and now you can see Kim already sticked four pieces three and now the fourth one together so we already have four little pits and you can see that they are getting smaller and smaller and they will become even smaller in a little while Hello, PKS Gaming Maya Malayalam. It's a lot of clinkers there. So we are stretching it so we can cut it into two again. So four divided by two, uh, sorry, multiplied by two makes eight little pits already. Do you have to sharpen the scissors often? No, never. We are using we are using these uh, scissors here already ten years. And they never has to have to be sharpened. And sugar is actually not very hard to cut, but it's uh, more the force of the shears and uh, the scissors that are. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm Charmi, but we cannot reply to everyone. Please be patient. No need to get angry. So by cutting it again, we have four times four makes 16 little pits on the inside. Now it looks a little bit lumpy, but we're gonna roll it by the heat of the table underneath. We'll get a perfectly round roll of candy. A little adjustment on some parts um, but as you can see we have all the sugar that we poured uh, just a little while ago we have still uh, all the parts on uh, at the table and these are the only two parts that are left over we do not speak Bosnia if there's anyone who speaks Bosnia Feel free to chip in, but um, I'm afraid it's uh, not a very common language here. So we'll say it's rolling, and that's the easiest way to get this um, big chunk of sugar perfectly round. And uh, in the meanwhile, Kim is preparing the little white part that will go around this pink roll. So when, when you have a, a trans section of your uh, watermelon, you always have 
pink part, which is this one, and then a little white rim around the outside. That's where the flavor. And uh, this is what we are looking for. You can see in the description a little watermelon icon or emoji. You can see there's a little, bit, a little part of white in there as well. So that's what we are making right now. Pink on the inside, a little white near the outside rim. And then we have dark green and a brighter green for the outside. So will this fit? It will. Praise the Lord. Not bad for my first day. No, he's. We uh, sprechen ein bisschen Deutsch. Klein bisschen. So, since it's a little bit on the soft side, we need to cool it a little bit down. Yes, nare, that's a watermelon. Un chileno por aquí, hola. Always nice to see some, how, uh, where are you, you are from, sorry. How many languages can we speak? Uh, well, together we have four times the Dutch language. That's already four. four. Dutch, English, French and German. A little bit of German. And we can uh, get into a fight in a Spanish restaurant as well. But we don't. We do. We do. We do not know. We do not know enough German, uh, uh, Spanish to get us out of trouble. Uh, do you recommend this business for somebody wanting to own a small business? Yeah, sure. This is an ideal business to start with. Very small, so you can uh, expand your business on your own terms and conditions. This shop started 10 years ago as a very small shop in the town of Sluis in the Netherlands and was recently remodeled. So the um, workshop was expanded and now this is a team of three making candy and a team of two selling them. We're actually thinking about uh, making candy making courses. So if you guys are interested in this, keep an eye on our social media. Stay tuned, as they say. We will be... provide you with all the information you need. Not all of El Salvador is muy bonito. El Salvador, uh, donde? En um, Chile o de... Uh, no... Uh, yeah. ¿Tienes, <laughs> ¿Tienes más de Salvadores? Yeah. Ah. Peach, 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 watermelon? No, it's, it's just watermelon. Baya la falgi. Le flipalgi. I think I think you've misread the caption, perhaps. El Salvador, your country. Ah, hola. So you can see that um, Kim combined the dark green and uh, yeah, brighter green or lighter green into stripes, and by stretching it and um, cutting it, we'll get six stripes of each and that will make the outside uh, layer of the candy so we can uh, this looks like a little uh, thick layer of leather and so we can cut it with a uh, with some scissors what was the hardest candy design you had to make um, everything we make for the first time, it's always a little bit hard, but I think 
One of the hardest ones was maybe the Super Mario image. There should be a video of it on our uh, YouTube channel. Yeah. And um, that was uh, quite a difficult one. It um, took us nearly three hours to complete and it was sold in almost the same time. So uh, yeah, we, we definitely need to remake that one and we, we do hope that it gets a little bit easier the next time. I was actually thinking about making a Rick and Morty one. Yeah, you, you heard the guy. What, what do you think about Rick and Morty? Let me know in the comments because... Uh, I'm actually a big fan of Rick and Morty. Yeah. If we make one, what was the we easy have to one? Mr. Music. Mr. Music. Do you guys get com compared to the Australian company a lot? Well, uh, I'm not. Bye, Ilse. See you soon in another live session. Bye. Bloody face. Um, uh, um, Here we go. Fraggle Rocks says, Oh, nice, Rick and Morty. Yeah. We have one thumbs what? up. Yeah, one thumbs up. And uh, from the. If there are any other, um, let me know. Um, Mario from uh, uh, Mario Brothers or Rick and Morty? Let's have a little. Uh, Pokemon. Pokemon? Yeah. That's the third one. Yeah. I really want to do Pokemon. <laughs> uh, do we get compared a lot to the Australian company? Um, I guess yes, because we are basically doing the same. Uh, thing we are making candy. Ah, I want to see the person who is speaking. Ah, uh, is that uh, you? Uh, Hi. Here we go. This is Noah. Uh, <laughs> He's your host. Behind, usually behind the camera. How are you, brother? Yeah, the number eight. eight. That's the eighth time you are uh, referring to that question, uh, Robbie CPM. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, uh, this is uh, consider this one as uh, your your answer. Uh, merci, Lily Rose Wazana. Toutes vos bonbons ont l'air trop bons. Haha, <laughs> les bonbons trop bons. Trop bonbons. What's the most expensive or rarest flavoring that you guys put in the ah, candies? With, with the sweet alcohol, the gold one. We uh, actually, we, we've put in some, some rare stuff already in candy. We've put real edible gold in there. So that's uh, not, an, uh, not a, a cheap one. And to be honest, we, uh, we live in a quite liberal country and we, uh, we uh, had the opportunity to test some CBD candy as well. That's not a, a cheap ingredient. Um, so yeah, everything that is quite rare. So you can see by stretching it, we'll get it nice and thin and then we can chop it off. Look at Go these. I'm gonna try and show you the inside of the candy. But you can see it's not very... Sh uh, yeah. So now the big roll is put into the candy rolling machine. We are workmates. <clears throat> um, what we normally do with our uh, chopped off candy is we um, keep it nice and warm uh, so we can make lollies out of it or uh, lollipops. So the outside doesn't really show what the inside looks like, but you can see. So Kim is stretching the candy, he actually has to pull the candy himself to get it into nice thin rods and Ilse is um, chopping them in equal uh, parts and by rolling them she keeps them into shape and she is cooling them down so they get hard. What's the time? Uh, the time is about 
uh, it's nearly three o'clock, uh, two o'clock, sorry, in the afternoon. Hallo Mirte, ben je aan het kijken? Why she always looks sad in every video? She isn't sad, she looks concentrated. Big difference. She has a very beautiful smile. She's uh, not so uh, into smiling when she's concentrated. How do we even make these awesome designs, bro? Well, uh, bro. We it's, just showed it's you. Mix, it's a mix of skill, experience, luck, and magic. <laughs> it is um, the image that we've made today uh, was made in about uh, 36 minutes uh, at this point. And believe me, it takes more than 15 years of experience to be able to do so. Um, we will end up with roughly 13 kilograms of uh, candy at the end, something like that. And uh, that takes, uh, yeah, like you see, uh, two men and 15 odd years of experience to do so in this manner. Have we noticed an increase in business since starting the social media account? Um, Definitely. Yes, but hard to say uh, what what the impact was on our um, on our business. Who buys our candies? Well, first of all, people in the shop. So that's mostly uh, parents and kids coming by in uh, in the shop. And then, second of all, we have a lot of um, customers ordering custom candies for their newborn child or for their companies. So we had a lot of um, for enterprises weddings. for weddings as handout gifts for um, special occasions. Um, we do make them on order. Check out our website to see what's possible. We can do any design and up to 15 uh, characters in one candy. So we can make little texts and uh, names Rihanna, uh, I don't have anything like this where I live. Uh, where do you live? Was it Australia that you said? Hello, Ipek from Turkey. Ook de 18e keer dat het zegt. Jigreev, I want to order for 100 people. Well, um, Send us an email, look us, uh, check out the website and you can send us an email with your order. Uh, unfortunately, we cannot ship to Australia, but I, I, I feel your pain living in a country where they have some good candy makers and not be able to get some, that should, should be very frustrating. Perhaps we'll, uh, we'll join you in Australia in a couple of years and you can order from us. That's a lot of candy, yeah. This will be about uh, yeah, 10,000 little candy pieces when we are done, something like that. Just gonna sort of show you the impressive work Kim is doing here. And so here we have India, 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 India. Yes. We have a lot of people from India joining. Who decides what design to make on a candy? Well, that's. Um, 
mostly decided by uh, by Kim, um, but we also have a lot of um, specific candy in uh, in the shop on stock. So um, we need to yeah, we need to remake that. Uh, for example, we have one mix that contains 17 sorts of uh, fruit flavors, with uh, each has a a fruit image inside them and so we need to remake that when it's out of stock um, so it's a uh, an effort to keep that um, up to uh, up to level hello to Arizona seems a very sunny morning in Arizona I'd enjoy some sun actually. What's the most sold design or flavor? I think this watermelon is actually the most sold single flavor. Uh, yeah, with strawberry and cherry. Cherry, strawberry, watermelon, those are the three most popular individual candies. But by far our most popular candy is um, is the mix of fruit flavors. So you have um, all fruit flavors combined in one jar or a little uh, bag. Um, and uh, that is uh, sold by, yeah, by uh, hundreds of kilos a week in summertime. Uh, 6 27 p.m. Uh, right now that's uh, uh, that's an odd number we, ha I, we have 2 p.m. in the Netherlands your consumers must love you but I can assure you it's it goes both ways we love our consumers as well if will you open your franchises in other countries if yes what about India if, if we can find somebody who is equally good uh, like us in India, well, uh, be my guest. By the way, I found the translucent lollipops with flowers in them gorgeous. I hope you guys show one time how you make it. Well, um, uh, we haven't... We haven't done uh, a video recently on our translucent flower lollipops, but find one on Facebook. there are some available. Um, or Instagram, but definitely Facebook. I don't know if we posted one here. But we also have uh, some non-translucent ones uh, with some gold dust in it. And uh, those videos should be online anytime soon. Is that candy hot right now? It's slightly hot. It's, you can still touch it uh, without getting burnt, but it's still um, 70 yeah. uh, Seven. degrees uh, Celsius or 100, no, sorry. Uh, yeah, 140 degrees, um, something like that, in Fahrenheit. But uh, at the far end of the table where Ilse is uh, collecting the candy rods, uh, they are already pretty cooled down. So if you can see, um, if they are still um, pliable, uh, they are still hot. But if they are, uh, the, those ones over here are uh, already hard, and those are almost completely cooled down. So you can see the difference. Hot one, cold one. Yeah. So as long as they are hot, you can uh, get them into uh, any shape you want. Uh, thank you, girly girl. We, we hope with you, but it's, it's been a fun ride up till now and we enjoy every minute of it. 10 million subs, yeah, we're on our way. <laughs> um, we do have one store in the Netherlands. Check our website to uh, 
to plan your trip to the Netherlands. Always welcome. We do make spicy candy, but uh, only on request. Uh, so we don't have it on stock every day. I'm standing behind you in your shop. Okay. Hello, Drishti Pandey. Okay, um, yeah, give us a wave. <laughs> I wonder what's the industry outlook over there in the Netherlands. Um, it's not an apprenticeship. Xantalix, uh, Xantalix. Uh, you cannot study it uh, until now, but keep our uh, socials uh, uh, check out our uh, check out our uh, socials because there might be uh, some um, information coming on that. How to learn to make candy by master candy maker Kim and Team Rocks and Rolls. Perhaps something is coming your way in any time soon. Why is the candy so hard and not soft? Because it's cooling down. We make hard candy that we've boiled to um, a certain uh, degree and um, that's the candy that will get hard when it's cooled down. I, Christmas uh, candy are beautiful, thank you. I just noticed someone was asking what's behind the window. Oh, yeah. That's just the streets of Sluis. So, uh, this is where our shop ends and here we have the streets where we see cars driving by, people passing by. Uh, and we can see the, uh, our neighbors. We have a, a lovely clothes shop. It's a little boutique shop over there. We have a restaurant over there. And we have some nice view on the streets. We mostly sell to indiv individual customers, but we do have some big stores or uh, wholesalers that are uh, that buy from us. Imran Khan in the Netherlands. Uh, I, that name does ring a bell a little bit, yeah. So you can see our little shop over here where we prepare your orders, our little kitchen. And uh, oh yes, this is a uh, watermelon for the ones getting into the live stream just now. These are watermelon candy, hard ones. And So, these are ready to be chopped into about more than 10,000 little pieces of candy. A little short tour of your shop. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, not a very big uh, thing to do. What we have right here is we have our whole shop in one view. So we have uh, the shop part where our candy is uh, sold. We have our little counter where candy is sold and prepared for shipment by Bentley. And um, we do have some custom orders waiting for delivery or for shipment or to get collected by the customer. Uh, we have other equipment and machinery that we use to make marshmallows. Uh, and then we have our shop with our Christmas tree already set up. We are approaching the holiday season. We have our lolly stands and our um, hanging bags of candy. Now we have all our candy. We also have marshmallows. 
I'm gonna take you through some of our um, stuff that we make. This is the award that you get if you get some 100,000 subscribers. We do make nice big lollipops, heart-shaped ones. We do have some candy canes left in stock, but they are high in high demand, so um, they sell out really quick. We do have some Halloween candy leftovers. And then also her lovely rose sculpture. That's also made out of sugar. Our hard caramel, either with sea salt or nuts. And then uh, a little tour of what we sell. We do have fruit flavored, all sorts of them sold individually. And then we have them mixed up with other flavors. We do have soft candy as well. A little part of what we do is soft. So we have our gummy candy. And then on the other side, we have our marshmallows. Today, we have a selection of coconut flavor, we have caramel flavor, we do have cherry flavor, and then a special one, it's a cocktail flavor, which has raspberry, violet, and a little hint of lime. It's a lazy red cheeks inspired uh, candy or marshmallow. We do have our citrus flavors. And we have also a selection of very sour ones. This is our sour mix. And for those not into sweet, or, well, sweet or sugar, we do have some sugar-free ones. We have a different variety of, a huge variety of flavors in no sugar candy. It's made with isomalt. Our selection of lollipops for uh, the shop. So kids can grab their own lolly. They're different flavors, different designs. We also have a huge amount of them in stock. The shelf life of the candy is, um, for our regular candy, it's, it's a, anywhere between six months up till one year. If stored in the right conditions, so that means dry, uh, so in a non-humid humid, uh, environment and uh, a little bit cool as well, so at room temperature. So we do have uh, some leftovers of our St. Nicholas uh, mix. It's a huge thing here in the Netherlands and in Belgium. And then we already have some Christmas candy. Check out our website to see how they look like in detail. But Christmas is just around the corner. Bentley wrapped them up in really nice Christmas decor uh, with some stars and some Christmas trees in there. And here, here we have the Christmas designs individually. So I have a, we have a star, we have a gingerbread man, we have uh, a little Christmas elf. It's very hard to get it in focus. We have Merry Christmas, Hello 2024 and a Christmas tree. And of course, a classic in our shop are the little Santa hats. So these are uh, Santa hat lollipops. We do have some Christmas baubles or uh, ornaments filled with our candy so you can hang them into the, your tree. And then a little specialty that we have today, but some video is coming out of is our Wonka um, candy. This is new, this is a very special one. And uh, guess, guess in the comments what flavor they could be. It's bubblegum. But only available in the shop, so you have to come by to the Netherlands. So that was a quick shop tour. In the meanwhile, Ilse is uh, starting to chop up some candy. Okay. 
perhaps you turn into a blueberry. So um, it's uh, at, at your own risk. <laughs> So now, the most satisfying part has started the chopping off the candy. Well, she uh, green. Perhaps our golden button is already on its way. Check out our socials. Um, we do have a video on marshmallow making, but it wasn't posted yet, but you'll, uh, you'll see that anytime soon. My mouth is watering. I'm sorry about that. And, uh, yeah, uh, feel free to get that fixed. So every piece of candy is chopped by hand into small little pieces. And uh, this is quite a tedious job. There's a lot of candy to be chopped. And you can see this candy mountain is growing. It's also a very difficult and hard to learn technique of chopping these candies. Uh, do we taste candies after making them? Only the special ones. Only the best candies get eaten. No, uh, we, we actually tried a lot of candies already in our life and uh, we are uh, only trying some new flavors or rare ones. Some flavors that are not made very often. We don't make uh, real bubblegum, uh, as in chewable bubblegum, but we do make uh, bubblegum flavor. The man wearing Apple Watch is very handsome. Yeah, I, I couldn't see it. I'm not sure. Uh, yeah, the man wearing uh, Apple thank Watch. You. Is, uh, he says, thank you. We want to see a close up of the chopped candies, please. Watch the eight. <laughs> What's the age of the girl? That's a very inappropriate question to ask to a lady. Never ask a lady for her weight nor her age. So these are uh, um, the watermelon in close-up. I'm gonna get to give some space. So by chopping these uh, candies, we actually came to the uh, end part of our live stream. We are reaching the one hour mark. And uh, for now, all is left is chopping up all these candies into little, little pieces. And uh, we'll uh, store them in our storage uh, in the far end and uh, I'm just gonna show you um, one up and close If 
you want to see more, check out our YouTube channel. There should be some videos available over there. Feel free to uh, click that like button so uh, we know you, uh, you appreciated them. And uh, if you have any questions, let, it know, let us know in the comments or uh, give us some ideas on what to do next. We're also doing our best to do at least one life a week. So stay tuned. Yep. I guess this is the end. Time to say goodbye. So uh, this is not farewell but till we meet again thank you for your sweet time and thanks for uh, watching we'll hope to see you, see you uh, next time. in our next video thank you have a great afternoon bye, bye. bye.